good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure announcements for you guys. Some upcoming WWE action figures that are going to be coming our way in the coming year, in 2021. The end of 2020 is finally upon us. Only 48 hours or so, not even that probably remaining in this god-awful year. But seriously, though, guys, we're trying to end things off the right way. And I got all of this news from my man, Christian, Unstable1047. If you guys want to check him out, the link is in the description below it would mean a lot to me for you guys to go check out his channel and everything i always get a lot of great news and a lot of great leaks from him guys so if you want to get in on all that stuff go check out unstable 1047 christian he is the one responsible for the news if i didn't have him i wouldn't know this news here today so i do want to give a shout out to him but today we got some upcoming figures leaked and we also have some stuff regarding the SummerSlam Elite Wave that is coming in 2021. So that will be awesome as well. Now I'm struggling here because I just finished up MDT Live. You guys know I got my package. I finished that up. MDT Live should be up either tomorrow or the next day. So it'll either be a New Year's Day or a 31st day. But I'm also working on the room tour for December 31st as well as my collection video for January 1st. So my god, my head is about to explode with all the John Brown videos and the big time videos that take a long time to film and just a lot and it did you still let's just shut the hell up and get into the news so starting out first guys we have basic series 121 basic series 121 we only have a couple figures leaked from the line here but the first figure that we have is going to be Rey Mysterio now Rey Mysterio is a pretty cool figure you know it's not Dominique Mysterio I feel like Dominique Mysterio would have been a better reveal for us but Rey Mysterio uh, I, I feel like our last basic of him was what in like the purple and yellow issue attire and he was like really really plain Jane looking it could have been a lot better head sculpt was pretty good it was just in that weird mask color and then we had the armbands I think you could take off or were they painted on I bet they were painted on to be honest with you guys I'll pull it up on the screen while I'm talking about this but Rey Mysterio is the first figure leaked from 121 the second figure from Rey, Myst from Rey Mysterio the second figure from basic 121 guys is gonna be the big dog the tribal chief the head of the table the MDT champion Roman Reigns coming in and you guys know that right now, I think the most recent basic series that is on Ringside Collectibles right now is Basic 116. So this is five series from now. I would highly, highly, highly say that it was. it's very likely, very highly likely that this Roman Reigns will have a new head sculpt. I would guess a new pissed off head sculpt. I would also guess that it will probably be shirtless or it will probably be the Wreck Everyone and Leave t-shirt in a basic form. And I'm also guessing that before this basic series comes out right here, I would guess that an elite Roman Reigns will come very similar to that before this basic gets here and that will be kind of where they draw the inspiration from. Of course that all remains to be seen. That's just kind of what I'm spitballing and getting, you know, just kind of predicting in my head what we should expect. But moving on guys, we have basic series 122 and starting out that series, it's going to be Charlotte. Now with Charlotte, who knows, it's probably going to be a rendition of the Ultimate Edition head sculpt. Probably one of those smiling head sculpts that we got on the Ultimate Edition. Again, this is five series from now, but I highly doubt we even get a Charlotte basic before this. This is probably the next Charlotte basic that we're going to be getting. I would guess the Ultimate Edition head sculpt will probably be on there. And you guys know that basic women's figures are, are hit and miss nowadays and mostly missing. I feel like we whiff a lot on those, especially the head sculpt, which is going to take us into our next figure, guys, which is going to be a first time in the line. And it is also going to be the Chase variant in Basic Series 122. It is going to be Chelsea Green. And this is a really big reveal. I'm actually really excited for this figure. I like Chelsea Green a lot. I think she's got a lot of talent. And I think that this figure could be good. It's just going to be on the head sculpt. You guys know the Dakota Kai was kind of a miss on the head. Wasn't horrific, but it wasn't the best. And then the Tegan Knox figure was also very, very not good, honestly, for the head sculpt. And then you had Mia Yim from Basic 111 that also wasn't the greatest on the head sculpt. So, I don't know. I hope the head sculpt for this Chelsea Green is really, really good. I hope that it delivers and it lives up to the expectations that we want to see there for Chelsea Green. So, hopefully, not only the basic version or the regular version, but the chase version will also be as damn good but not only do we have charlotte and chelsea green but we have charlotte's other half and that is going to be andrade so andrade is on here on basic 122 highly highly likely that he's going to also have a new head sculpt just wouldn't make any sense i feel like every head sculpt we've got of him has pretty much been the same besides his nxt elite and then he did have the elite 74 and he did have that nxt slash ringside exclusive elite figure which i'm pretty sure the elite 74 and that figure had very very similar head sculpts if not the the same and then he did have his Wrestlemania basic that uh, I don't even remember what the damn head sculpt looked like on that one but Andrade will also fit into basic series 122 right there so not only do we have basic series 
121 and 122. We also have a figure leaked from Basic Series 123, and that is going to be Jake Atlas. And not only is Jake Atlas going to be in the wave, guys, he's also going to be the Chase Variant version. So the Chase Variant version for Basic 123 will be Jake Atlas. And Jake Atlas is one of those guys that, you know, I haven't seen a ton of work from, but I know that he's pretty damn good in the ring, and I'm excited to see what else he can do here. So it's kind of crazy seeing him get a figure. I feel like, I know he's been on television and stuff, but I feel like he's getting a figure pretty quickly. If I, am I tripping or am I tripping? I think, I feel like that's pretty quickly for a figure right there. But Jake Atlas is going to be a part of 123. And then the next figure that we're getting into is Basic Series 124, Kyle O'Reilly. So Kyle O'Reilly is going to be in Basic 124. Who knows what attire this is going to be. Um, since this is Basic Series 124, that's a little ways away. It's almost 10 Basic Series away. So if I had to guess, it would be a new head sculpt apart from the, you know, the Elite 80 that we just got. I could be wrong about that. They could just rehash the same head sculpt. We'll have to see about that. But Kyle O'Reilly will be a part of Basic 124. I do believe other members of Undisputed Era will probably follow suit. They'll probably all be in the same gear. So if you guys don't want to, you know, complete your Elites, you want to complete your Basic Series of Undisputed Era, that would probably be the way to do so with Basic 124 O'Reilly as well as the rest of them. I guess it's just going to depend on the attire, how good they look. It'll probably be in the green gear. Highly doubt it's in the red gear gear. It'll probably be in the green gear or something. But anyways, guys, Basic Series 124, Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, so we really don't have a lot of fill-ins. You guys know that we only had two figures from 121, three figures from 122, one figure from 123, and then one figure from 124. But the last bit of news that we have here today is going to be on the SummerSlam Elite Series wave. You guys know that every year they do an, uh, a SummerSlam wave. It used to be its own set of series. Uh, remember, we used to get like Finn Balor and Mankind. It was two in a set. And then we ended up getting like Edge, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Matt Hardy in that one set. And then they just decided, you know what, Brad, let's just shove the SummerSlam wave into the main elite line every year. And we'll do a whole main elite wave SummerSlam theme. And you guys know the first year they did that, it was Elite Series 68. We had Brie Bella in there. We had Daniel Bryan in there, Roman Reigns. Last year, it was Elite Series 77. We had The Fiend, AJ Styles, Ronda Rousey, Rick Rude, that whole wave right there. So this year, it is going to be SummerSlam Elite Wave, and it is going to come in the Elite Wave of Elite Series 86. Now, if you guys are thinking about that, Elite Series 86 is a, only a few series away. We just got our Elite 83. I mean, I would guess probably by summertime for sure that the SummerSlam Wave would be hitting, and that would make the most sense, right? Because SummerSlam would be coming up. But you got Elite 84, you got Jeff Hardy, Sheamus, Rhea Ripley, Angel Garza, Roman Reigns, and Buddy Murphy. And then, uh, you know, we'll have one more set, which we pretty much leaked, and we've had, you you know, we have Karrion Cross in Elite 85 and stuff, and then we'll be getting in Elite 86, and the only figure we know from Elite Series 86 is going to be the Triple H figure that we saw in uh, a couple of months ago or a few weeks back when we saw the Triple H from SummerSlam in the purple attire, and then of course we did have the Chase variant version in the gold and red, which I thought was a really interesting figure. Did not see that coming whatsoever for the Triple H Chase variant in the red gear. I'm very happy we're getting that SummerSlam Triple H though. I, I like that attire. I've always liked that attire. Big moment for him. Big everything on his career right there for that. But I think that pretty much does it for our basic series 121, 22, 23, 24, and for the SummerSlam Elite Wave leaks or uh, you know what wave that is going to be a part of there. But again, a huge shout out to Unstable1047 for the information right there on that. Before we get out of here guys, let's go ahead and get into our random shout out and then I also want to get into what I was saying earlier about my filming schedule that's going to be absolute hell for me the next few days. So this shout out is going to go to JKW Figs. He says, I'm surprised Trash Corbin is at number three because first he's trash, second he's short, and third he's trash. Thought that was pretty good right there. I like that. And yeah, I mean, the Trash Corbin figure was actually really surprising. I did not expect the Elite 83 Trash Corbin to be worth a damn, and it, w it actually was pretty good. Besides its height, you know, he's too short. That's what he says. It's his second he's short. That's what he meant by that because the figure did not come in at the right height for Trash Corbin. And then third, he's Trash reiterating what he said on number one of his points. But uh, what I was saying regarding that, sh huge shout out to you, bro, for the comment. Guys, if you guys want a future shout out in a, in a video, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, and hit the like button there. But again, I just finished MDT Live last night, and then I made this video. And so when I wake up, I'm going to be editing MDT Live. And then before the 31st is over, I got to upload my room tour for the year. And then on the first of the, uh, on the first of the year, I typically do my full collection. You guys know where we do the full entire two and a half hour video where we go through every single figure of my collection, every 
elite figure that is and we we literally sit there and go through all of those so that is what my plan is i don't know if mdt live will go up on the 30th it ain't going up on the 30th i don't know if mdt live will go up on the 31st the first or the second we'll have to see about that i really would like to get it up before the new year but i don't know maybe it'll be a double upload day that'd be a lot of bangers right there back to back to back not that you guys don't deserve it but that would be a ton of work but we'll see how that goes but anyways guys i'm getting the hell out of here let me know what you think of all these figures down in the comment section below which figures are you excited for can't wait to see what they actually look like when we see them in render or you know when we finally get images of them but i'm getting out of here guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you oh yeah don't cross the line you cross the line i've been